stop playing Warframe right now. Never open it again until you get a VPN. As crazy as that sounds, I have a pretty good reason to say that. To give good context on what made me go down this rabbit hole in the first place, I found a video on YouTube called Warframe Has an FPS Problem. It's by a fantastic YouTuber called IFVTA. In this video, they explain in great detail how your frame rate impacts how the game plays and its effect on other players. If you haven't seen it already, I will leave a link to it down in the description below. Now on to the technical bits. I'm gonna let IFVTA walk us through on how it works. What's the connection between FPS and your log file? Well, this is the update rate of a typical log file slowed down. You see how it's updating constantly? Now look what happens here. The update rate looks erratic and inconsistent. What changed? In the first example, the FPS was at a steady 144, and in the second example, it's at a steady 30 FPS. So what can we conclude from this? Even if we forget what's physically in the log file, we can determine that the update rate of the game is proportional to your frame rate, meaning the game processes events at the rate of your FPS. Now you can imagine hearing that might make someone ask themselves very good questions on how the game actually works on a file level. I did some simple brainstorming on stream with friends of mine while talking about this video, and this came up. I uh, apologize in advance about the recorded stream quality. Twitch is rate limited. Yeah, it makes the game update faster, which I'm kind of curious about. Is Warframe actually bad for your SSDs? You know what I mean? Ah, yeah, it's a good question because, uh, well, no, I think uh, you can write as much data as you want. I mean, I'm sorry, you can read as much data as you want, but writing data to it and then removing it and rewriting it to it over and over again is what's bad. Well, reading from it constantly doesn't seem to hurt you. Okay, so... That's why installing your operating system on an SSD and shit like that isn't necessarily a bad thing, but... Playing a game where you're constantly needing to update every day and uninstall and reinstall all your games on it? Yeah, no, that's probably not a good idea. Yeah, that really just hit home for me. Because I'm the host right now, which means everybody's reading off of my, uh, my fucking folder. You know what I mean? Really? They're reading off of my yeah. ee.log file. Warframe works a little differently than other online games because, to my knowledge, it doesn't have a hard-coded tick rate. I'll try to break it down. The host player has the main log file, and other players' games are updated entirely based on that information. And the time it takes for those two files to communicate is referred to in-game as ping. It's a sort of pseudo-peer-to-peer -peer system. This means if the host... Now hold on to that information that it's a pseudo-peer-to-peer -peer system and have that in the back of your head when I say this. Shortly after the stream ended, we went to investigate the file with legitimate worry that the write volume on said file would be on the extreme side if it's done like we had feared. The unfortunate reality, we found out something way worse. Way, way worse. Warframe logs every event in that file. It contains sensitive information that can be used by the developers for debugging purposes and can be sent to support when they need it. This file contains extremely robust information from your session including every interaction that you make with the world. The terrible truth with this file is it also contains logs of who you join in the game, who with, and when. Both their IP addresses and yours are clearly visible throughout the file. I took the time to confirm this information was accurate with close friends of mine, and we confirmed this file also impacts crossplay players as well. So that means anybody on Xbox, anybody on PlayStation 2. As if it could not get any worse, this file is also a plain text file. It is not encrypted, which means it's left open, wide open, to whatever bad actor out there that wants to do whatever they want with it. The availability of this issue is hopefully a mainly PC concern with the general idea and the assumption that this information is just not as available on consoles for people to access. But it's not the end of the world. There are things you can do to protect yourself while Digital Extreme figures out 
if they want to come up with anything to be a solution for this. There are things you can do to keep yourself safe with this information in mind. And with the widespread promotion of VPNs on the internet and all over YouTube, there's more choice out there than I can possibly suggest. Just do your due diligence, and the worst thing that that bad actor can do is grab whatever server was part of your VPN. Just be sure to pay extreme attention to this next bit as it's very important. The EULA does not expressly state against the use of VPNs, and searching on the internet has not exactly produced a lot of information in that particular regard either. However, we do have some recorded instances of comments from DE on that matter, but take them with a pound of salt. Both of these were found off of the same post in Reddit. There really wasn't a robust amount of things to really locate in this topic, so I'll read them top to bottom, but again, like I said, take it with a pound of salt. Regarding this inquiry, you will not get banned simply by using a VPN. Using any third-party software with Warframe is a use-at-your-own-risk type of situation. Take a look at that one guy who's very vocal about his ban. This means if the VPN services are hosting unsafe traffic or routing your connection through less than secure servers, the account could get flagged. In those cases, you can just switch services, find a new VPN to release it. For this reason, we recommend researching any VPN you use to make sure that it is safe. Otherwise, you should be okay. Hope this helped clear things up. If you have any questions, feel free to send your reply here. In regards, DE Live. I don't know if they work there anymore, but like I said, take it with a pound of salt. They also say it specifies uh, that this in regard to any abuse of VPN usage, like for example, disguising your residence to circumvent restrictions, ban evading. The same applies for hiding your re residence to commit currency manipulation, etc. Basically, like if you were to access um, British Netflix or something like that, but for platinum. We do understand that in some cases the usage of a VPN is the only way to play the game without issues. We will not exclude players that have no other options, but if we discover that the VPN was used to commit fraud, we will take action. Both comments in mind, the best suggestion that can be made is to keep your VPN in your residing country. Warframe has strict rules around their in-game currency, and... No one safety-minded individual wants to be avoiding one big landmine to step on another. Though personally, as as it is to say, I will be uninstalling Warframe immediately, and I simply refuse to play it until this whole issue is resolved by uh, Digital Extremes. To me, this issue is on the same par as the source code linking in TF2 and the whole GTA 5 debacle, and quite frankly, in this, I prefer to be safer than sorry. Even if I had never played the game again, it's it's just too much of a risk. So everybody out there, I hope that you stay safe so that you are never sorry, regardless of the personal opinions of whatever company that might be involved. Finally, I can ad lib. I've never written a script before, so I had no idea what to even do when it came to approaching this topic. I wanted to come off as candidly as humanly possible. And uh, I am ADD'd out of my mind, so I'm sure I didn't make much sense in that one. I will be paying very close attention to my comment section for a little bit. Just uh, drop a comment down below, and I'll make sure to get back to you as quickly as humanly possible with probably some sentient answers other than my dumb self at literally 7.34 a.m. not having a single blink of sleep. We're going to be steering away from Warframe on this channel for the foreseeable future i'm going to get into the things i keep talking about on stream but not actually doing because i'm too lazy or i haven't found the time to do that and uh produce some real good content so i'll be seeing you around here thank you very much for watching